Uh, uh, Nag-iip nag- 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 lang ako doon sa sinabi mo na noong binigyan ka ng unang sobre, sinabi mo kagad, ang tanong mo kagad eh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tama po ba yung pagkarinig ko? Yes, Your Honor. Bakit ganun ang tanong mo? Because honestly, I'm wondering ba't ako bibigyan. And during... Ngayon, uh, honestly, after the, nagtanong ka kung bakit ka binibigyan. Ano ang sagot doon sa tanong mo na yun? But I was made to understand by uh, ASEC China. It, it, it So what's up mga kababayan? Welcome back again dito sa channel Chef Cosinero TV, ang isang kusinerong pakialamero at chismoso. Na instead magluluto ay ito nakikichismis sa mga bagay na kung ano-ano lang. Right guys, so uh, dito guys, uh, gawa tayo ng review dito sa ginawang Quadcom hearing regarding sa confidential fund ng Office of the OBP kung saan pilit ginigisa ni Congressman Akop at ni Abanti ang resource person which is hanga ako dito kay Kong Akop kasi bagay na bagay sa kanyang-kanyang sinusuot na crocodile o, di ba? O, tingnan mo, di ba? <laughs> mahilig pala ito pala sa mga crocodile na brand kasi ano naman sa kanya naman yun <laughs> Dahil sa mga kataga nating nalalaman dyan sa Kongreso at sa Quadcom na bayad ang bawat upo ng Quadcom na to sa panggigipit ng Office of the Vice President na instead na magtrabaho ng marangal ang mga hinayupak na to ay ilang buwan na itong ginagawa nilang gatasan ang kanilang honorarium di umano sa pag uh, iimbestiga dito. Right? At ito naman si Congressman Abante may pakwintas-kwintas pang cross effects na hindi bagay sa kanyang pagiging mangkanor. Right? So ito guys, pakinggan po natin kung paano sila hindi nakalusot sa mga sagot ng mga resource person nila. Let's watch this guys. It, it, it is an allowance from the secretary. From the secretary. Kayo po ay accountant, di po ba? Yes, Matanong sure. po po kayo, saan po nang galing na, na pondo, ang source of fund, nung allowance na binigay sa inyo? Well, I didn't have the, I didn't have the, uh, the courage to ask for that. Anyway. Uy, tinanong mo, you had the courage to ask, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tapos hindi, you did not have the courage to ask, saan galing yan kung hindi galing sa confidential fund? Di po ba? Sure, owner. Di ba, may lakas kang loob na tanungin? Uh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Pero hindi mo tinanong nung sinabi niya, hindi galing sa confidential fund yan. Saan galing? Di ba dapat yun ang sunod na tanong? Following your line of questioning? Kasi, Kasi kung, kung crocs, kayo, kailan nyo pa imbisigahan yung mga confidential fund niyo dyan sa kongreso? Ang lalaki ng mga budget ninyo wala namang kayong naipakita ng mga resibo. Di ba? Bagay no bagay sa upak, mm, may pa pungsoy-pungsoy ka pa, may pa tanginang crocodile na yan sa damit mo, oh, bagay na bagay sa iyo kung idol mo ba yan? Madam, it is irrelevant whether you are aware of uh, what you have signed or not. Kasi under the circular, you can be also liable. You cannot escape that kasi sa dami na inimbestigan ko, basta nakikita yung signature na nandun yung signature, papailang ka ng kaso ng investigador. Yeah. Di ba? 
Kaya nag, nagkukuha ako dun sa kwan eh. You were brave enough to ask kung galing sa confidential fund. Kasi nasa isip mo na dun sa pinirmahan mo, dun magagaling yung pondo na binibigay sa iyo as an allowance. Di ba? Yun na napasok sa isip mo eh. Na binigyan ka ng allowance sa pagpirma mo naga, uh, dahil sa confidential fund. Sa pag-clear o liquidate ng confidential fund. Di ba, Iha? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And you didn't know that because of your signature, pwede kang lumubog. Tama? Iha? Yes, Your Honor. Sige. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. You. Chair, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman Adyong, uh, in Congressman relation Abante, to what uh, uh, Congressman Akup said, I remember um, some years ago, uh, Mr. Chair, that when the Vice President was still in the TEP-Ed, that there is a rule, a rule that she made, no gift policy. Am I right, uh, Attorney Chikopoa? Yes, Your Honor, that, that is correct, Your Honor. It's a rule, no gift policy. Do you remember that, Ms. Catalan? Yes, Your Honor. So why is she giving envelopes? If the rule in her office is no gift policy. Ito naman si Mang Canor, oo. Mang Canor, anong no gift policy? Ikaw nga eh. Di ba? Mukha mo pa lang, oh. Ako, Diyos ko, nung kang Mang Canor, huwag ka nang magmalinis. Ha? Huwag ka nang magmalinis. Huwag mo nang, huwag mo nang sayangin yung pera ng taong bayan sa pagpaupo-upo mo dyan, Mang Canor. Therefore, even the Vice President would think that whenever a gift is given, that's bribery. That is subtle bribery. Ms. Catalan. Maybe. Not maybe. <laughs> And sabi mo sa akin, no gift policy. So therefore, if the if the if uh, the the vice president said that there is no gift policy, therefore she is trying to avoid any kind of a bribery or a corruption in his part. Attorney, uh, uh, po, po, can you please uh, that? Uh, do you believe that? Uh, well, yes, I do believe that, Your Honor, because uh, even as uh, OSEC, when I was in OSEC, no gifts talaga kami from anyone. No gifts. No gift policy was in place. So, uh, see, nakita niyo yung answer ng dating spokesperson ng, ni, ni Vice President, am I right? That's the reason why I'm asking you if you are pressured. Siguro kinakailangan, kinakailangan. Sabihin mo na rito sa amin. You were pressured because of the allowances given to you. Oh. Hindi nyo na kinakailangan pagtakpan pa yung nagbigay sa'yo eh. Ikaw, eh, uh, Miss Catalan, ikaw po ang accountable dito, ikaw ang kawawa dito. You do not even need to protect those that gave to you the envelopes. Because the fact is this, when the rule in the vice president's office is no gift policy. She would think that to be corruption. Oh, that it's not a gift. It's a bonus of her performance, just like Christmas bonus. Bakit? Ikaw, anong nagawa mo? Di ba? Inang, binibig din niyo yung mga... Kala mo kung hindi din kayo tumatanggap dyan, eh, yung pag-upo-upo nyo dyan, alam namin na may honorarium din kayo. Therefore, Therefore, yung pagbigay ng allowance sa'yo is actually subtle bribery. Hindi po ba? But according kasi kay Attorney Shine during that time, uh, it came from the uh, secretary and who was really just maybe he was just grateful to sa performance namin so i considered it 
not really a form of bribery. Or uh, I was not pressured to sign the liquidation voucher, but I was requested to sign it, sir. I, I'm not going to, uh, you know, in a way, in any way, try to convince you otherwise, Ms. Catalan. What I'm just trying to say is, when uh, the rule of the vice president is no give policy. In fact, hindi nga siya tumatanggap ng give sa amin eh, kahit nabigyan namin siya eh. Hindi siya tumatanggap eh. Ngayon, kung siya mismo hindi tumatanggap, ba siya nagbibigay sa inyo? As a form of gratitude? That's your duty, Ms. Catalan. Whether there is no envelope given as a form of gratitude, it's your duty to do your job. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. That's what I'm saying. Mr. Um, uh, Congressman Sia, you're recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, just like to do some follow-ups on the previous.